so this is a definite integral. And so when you have a definite integral, you just take the integral and then evaluate it at two separate places, um, at these two numbers. So I'm going to try u substitution to evaluate this function. So I'm going to set u is equal to negative x squared, right? So I take the derivative of both sides, so it's going to be du is equal to negative 2x, because I bring down the 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's going to be negative 2x, dx. Now, um, we look at the actual function. So is there a negative 2x in this function? Well, there's an x, so we need to get rid of this negative 2. So all I'm going to do is divide by negative 2 on both sides, so it's going to be du negative 2, equals x dx. Now we can represent everything um, from into the new equation. So I can put the du here, negative one half I can bring out to the front, and then I said that uh, u is equal to negative x squared, so I can replace it with a u. So it's going to be negative one half, one, u, one to zero, eu, and then du. So this this represents x dx, so that's how we got rid of x uh, x dx, and then u represents negative x squared. So that results in our new integral. So now we actually take the integral of eu, and uh, you have to memorize this, but the integral of eu will just be eu. Now you keep the negative one half, and this is your answer. But we're not done, because we need to evaluate it at these two numbers. So this is just the notation, just a line, one zero is what you say when you're evaluating. So it's going to be, you're going to plug in the first number, minus, and then plug in this uh, second number. So it's negative one-half e to the negative one, because I plug in the first number. So it's going to be negative one squared. One squared is just one, so it's going to be negative one, minus, and remember to put parentheses, because you um, plug in the entire thing here, and then plug in zero. So it's going to be negative one-half e to the zero, um, because you're going to plug in the second number for x squared. So now you go down and just simplify. So negative one half e to the negative one, keep that the same. So anything to the zeroth power is one, so it's going to be negative one half. And then the negatives cancel, so it's going to be positive one half. So now you're left with negative one half e to the negative one plus one half. And then if your professor or teacher wants uh, no negative uh, no, uh, negative powers, you can pull that to the uh, denominator where you'll get negative 1 over 2e plus 1 half. And if they want it in um, decimal form, it's 0.316. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.